Hello learners, this is Easy Engineering. Today we're going to talk about another fun topic in physics. It is all about gravitational force. Have you ever wondered why things fall towards the earth? All things fall towards the earth due to gravitational force. Gravitational forces are forces of attraction. It's like the earth is pulling on you and keeping you on the ground and that pull is gravity at work. Take for example an object that you throw up in the air. That object accelerates or falls towards the earth. In physics, the object experiences a downward force known as the gravitational force. But have you ever wondered what the origin of gravitational force is? Well, technically, there is no scientist or physicist that can explain the origin of gravitational force or any other natural forces. But different hypotheses and laws are present, among which the most prominent explanation presented was by Sir Isaac Newton, and it all started with an apple. Legend has it that Sir Isaac Newton was sitting under an apple tree when he was hit on the head by a falling apple. This was an aha moment for him and led him to suddenly come up with the law of gravity. Newton's first published a principle in 1687. This principle states that all body in the universe is attracted to other bodies with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This makes the new equation to be and this equation is called as the law of universal gravitation. But note that Newton had no idea of what is the value of g. He just knew it would be a very tiny number, or in other words, it was just a proxy. So how do we know that the law of universal gravitation made by Sir Isaac Newton is true? Well, another British scientist made careful measurements with some of the most sensitive instruments of the time. This scientist is Henry Cavendish. He figured out that g was equal to about Therefore, Newton was right all along because even though he didn't know the exact value of g at that time, he still had enough to establish his law of universal gravitation. Alright, do you understand it now? Now, fun fact learners, before we continue this lesson, did you know that when you drop a feather and a baseball in a vacuum, the two of them would drop at the same time? Yes, that's right. You see, when there is a lot of air resistance, a falling object moves slower. But neglecting air, it would drop really, really fast. That is why in a vacuum where no air is present, both the feather and baseball would drop at the same time. Now let's go back to our topic. You may ask how gravity affects the solar system. Or what is the importance of gravity? Well, when you look at really large masses like a planet or the moon, the gravitational pull becomes very impressive. The sun's gravitational pull keeps our planet and the other planets orbiting the sun. The gravitational force between the earth and the molecules of gas in the air is strong enough to hold the atmosphere close to our surface. In addition, the motion of the moon is affected by the gravity of both the sun and the earth. You see, the moon's gravity pulls on the earth and makes the tides rise and fall every day. As the moon passes over the ocean, there is a change in the sea level which means the tide rises when the moon is closer, closer and as the earth rotates, the moon passes over new parts of the earth, causing the change to move also. So did you enjoy our topic for today? I hope you certainly did. See you again next time for more interesting and fun topics only here in Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you.